What's up, y'all? Back with another video. And this one is about eye contact and the importance of co eye contact on a physical level and on a more spiritual level as well. I was originally not even going to make a video about this because I was thinking like, this isn't really that important of a topic until I actually thought about it. And I was like, damn, I would want this video if I didn't know about this type shit. Kind of just look at people's like, nose or look at people's lips i'll look at their face while talking I, I wasn't like looking down or nothing but i would look at their face but i didn't uh focus in on the eyes and that's what you have to start doing and you have to kind of make it a skill you have to make it a skill to focus in on the eyes and be able to read people through their eyes now right now you probably think oh i do that it's not that big of a deal but we have to understand that most communication is non-verbal communication you hear it all the time most communication is non-verbal communication and if we break down communication in certain aspects i actually think verbal communication is probably the lowest form of communicating you know if we look at birds if we look at dolphins if we look at all these animals they don't communicate with words why do most animals not communicate with words that is because body language and eye contact and what you see in the eyes actually tells more of a story than what the person is actually expressing through their words for example right i was walking into a store and I said, what's up, y'all? I said, what's up to the people that was working at the store? One person didn't even look at me, right? Which is one thing that I have to know is that most people don't make eye contact at all. You know, so you may think that you're the exception. You might not be the exception. One person didn't even look at me. One person gave me eye contact, but I instantly knew this person is a weak person. Instantly. I instantly, I made eye contact with him and... I instantly was like, he's a weak, he, he's weak. You know what I'm saying? He's weak. He's putting on a front. He's acting, he's not acting like himself or there's some shame or something like that uh, within him where, you know, he's just weak. Now you can't be like, oh yeah, it's this specific situation, but it's more of a, it's more of an energy type thing. It's more of a, a, a less physical thing where you look into their eyes and then you just like, oh, yep. That person is weak. That person is this. You know, with eye contact, it's so eye contact is so important because it says words. It says a certain type of communication that goes deeper than words. People can look at you. You can look at people in the eyes and you can be like, you already know what they're gonna say before they say it. It happens all the time. I already know what people are gonna say before they say it. I already know people's intentions. It's very crazy. And it's kind of funny that most people don't focus on this because it does give you a slight edge over pretty much most people. Most people. I interact with a lot of people day to day and a lot of new people too at that. And what I've noticed is that if I have to break it down to a, a decimal or a fraction, I would say that one in five people actually give me genuine eye contact and sometimes i look into their eyes and i already know i kind of know their problem i kind of know what type of problem they ha they're having in their lives i kind of know it's crazy man like with with uh females a lot of the time if they don't give eye contact and this is just a generalization a lot of times they don't give eye contact. It's because they feel shame within themselves. A lot of not giving eye contact is shame, but it's shame uh, in a different way. So with guys, when they don't give eye contact, it's because they don't believe in themselves. And then with females, I've noticed when they don't give eye contact, it's because they think they're ugly or they don't think they look good or something like that. And then with guys, it's more like more of a confidence thing. How do I know that? Am I just, you know, insinuating? Am I just guessing? Once you get good at this, because I've been practicing this for like two, three years, like really, really like trying to read people. 
not only by their body language it's it is a little bit about body it is a lot about body language actually but it is mostly around eye contact so this is what i recommend to you guys i recommend looking in people's eyes every single time just pushing yourself to do it i remember the first uh year i the first year i did this it was actually kind of hard for me because I wasn't looking at people's eyes. I was looking at their nose or I was looking at their lips. Or I was just looking at uh, their face in general. I wasn't looking down, but I was unconscious of how much the eyes, how much power the eyes truly hold. So then I switched it up and then I started to guess people's emotions before they actually told me it. Right. I would guess somebody's emotion. And then I would talk to them about it, like, how you how you feeling? You know what I'm saying? They'd be like, oh, well, I've been kind of down. I've been kind of depressed. I'm like, I I knew. I already knew you was kind of feeling that way, bro, because you wasn't, you wasn't making eye contact or the way you was making eye contact was in a certain level where it was different. So somebody can make eye contact with you, but they don't necessarily are a confident person. Somebody can make eye contact with you and... They're depressed and they look at you like this. It's usually like this, right? And that just shows like, oh, you're depressed. And you go up to them, you be like, hey, what's up, man? You talk to them about it and they're like, yeah, I'm just kind of down because of this situation. Then boom, you instantly know. It gives you literally a slight edge because you are tapping into a nonverbal communication that is more subconscious but you are being conscious about it. So always make eye contact. Look into people's eye. I look dead into people. Bro, I make so much eye contact for sometimes it's literally uncomfortable. I make so much. I try to look into the camera too. You know, I make so much eye contact sometimes it's literally kind of uncomfortable. I make people uncomfortable. You, when I'm talking to them, I don't just stare, I don't just stare at people. But I'm talking to them, I just be like, and it's easy for me. It's easy for me. Not a lot of people can do it. Not a lot of people can do it. And when you come at when you come at that with that type of angle, it's like whoa. And it leaves a certain type of impression on pe upon people, whether they're old, whether they're young, male, female. It doesn't matter. You look somebody straight into their eyes the entire time you're having a conversation. Maybe break it like. I, sometimes I break it like you know every other every other like minute or so so i'm not just like dead ass you know what i'm saying I look around come back to it uh, come back to it you know what i'm saying just so it's not like too creepy or something like that but it tells you their intention you got to understand why are people so afraid to look people in their eyes it's just it's just eyes you know it's just any other body part it's like a nose it's like a mouth why are, why are you why, why can you look at me with why can't you look at these body parts, but you can't look at me in my eyes? That's because your eyes are the windows to your soul. They show a lot of the intentions that you have. They show your confidence. They show, uh, they give off a certain energy. It doesn't give off a specific situation, but it gives off a certain energy of, oh, this person is depressed. This person has anxiety. This person is not confident with them within themselves. And then once you're able to do that, especially at a high level that I would like to consider myself at now, you are able to navigate people in a much fluent way where you kind of understand their intentions before they even do them or before they even tell you them. So always make eye contact, boys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn lives greatness. I'm out.